I froze to death in some dismal warehouse. I had to hitch a ride because my driver deserted me. I sat in the cab of an 18-wheeler, Josh, next to some guy who maybe talked to his buddies on the phone. And while I was stuck next to that complete stranger in this unknown ring of hell, you were here with my special guest in my chair ruining my show erica i tried to find you i left a hundred messages on your cell my phone. phone is gone you tried to take my place you tried to stand in for me on the air geraldo rivera showed up here to be interviewed when you didn't show what else was i supposed to do clean out your desk you're fired no explanation no excuses well the verdict's in erica why bother just turn tail and slink out it's for the best Better now than later. You don't mind being fired? Oh, I mind. I just wish I would have quit. I treated you extremely well. What did you know about producing? What did you know about television? You leaned on me to test Kendall to see if she was gay or straight. I even offered to spy on my own father for you. That wasn't about television, Erica. That was about loyalty. Loyalty! You want to talk loyalty? Okay. We've, what, promo the Geraldo Rivera interview for, what, three weeks now? The big moment arrives. You know where to be found. I combed all of Pine Valley for you. Okay, so I didn't check the, the cabs of all the 18-wheelers in all of Pennsylvania. Then Geraldo suggested tossing on a rerun. I considered it, but then I saw your credibility and New Beginnings taking a nosedive. Who was I supposed to trust in the interviewer's seat? Betty from Research? Yeah, Erica. I made a judgment call for the good of your show. That's what other producers do. I forgot my job was hitting on your daughter and betraying my own father, so I'm fired. Well, don't expect me to beg or cry. It's not my style. Josh. Wait. I was angry, Josh. I was stuck in the middle of nowhere, knowing that my guest was waiting for me, not knowing what was going on back here. I mean, that would, it drove me crazy. You're not used to feeling powerless. No, of course not. And I just saw new beginnings just going down in flames. So did I. By the way, Geraldo wants to do another spot with you as soon as it can be arranged. Well, call Geraldo and find out his availability and, and schedule it. I no longer work for you, Erica. Look, I was angry and I, I needed to vent. And anyhow, you're never really fired unless I sleep on it and fire you again in the morning. I must have uh, missed that memo. But if anything like this ever happens again... Are you kidding me? I'll fire myself. <laughs> I've got the car company tracking down your driver. We'll find out what happened, why he took off. Thank you. Okay, I really need to go freshen up that uh, truck ride. I'll get on the phone to all those people. You bugged Erica's office. What the hell is the story with the bug? The usual, little covert eavesdropping on Lacane. What? You're trying to harm her? You know I'm not one of her army of fans, Dad. Then why don't you just walk out and find yourself another job? I like new beginnings. Even though you hate Erica? I don't hate Erica. You're trying to harm her. Dad, did you see the interview she was ranting about? The one I did on air? I'll get you a tape. I was amazing. Yeah, I want a new job, but I want it right here. Oh, so you want to replace her? Dad, I rocked. I finally found where I belong. What? One day she'll be remembered for giving me my big chance. And you're going to stab her in the back? Dad, it's television. Come on. I mean, do you realize how many talented people are out there sitting around jobless? It's not just who you know. It's how you play the game. And I play to win. Who are you? Oh, come on, Dad. You don't recognize the drive to succeed no matter what the price? Oh, even if it means betraying the finest... Of all the women in the world, Dad. Right? You're not. Are you really in love with her? Do you actually think you're gonna get with Erica? Be part of her life? 
<laughs> You've lost it. You need to comment on this interview mix up in the next show's beginning. Well, maybe I should interview you. Oh, no, your guests will want to I hear won't take up much of your boss's time. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you, Josh, just as soon as we're finished. <sighs> Please. Have you had a difficult day? Uh, terrible. Really, you have no idea what I've been through. I don't want to cause you any more stress. In fact, I'd like to alleviate it. You should try to relax. That's it. You should breathe, Erica. Oh, my God, I remember. <laughs>